This is Sylvia Saber with Lagatar Afghanistan News. Taliban's communication receives first international recognition. The Shanghai Cooperation Organization kept Afghanistan's seat vacant at Taliban's request. The communication by Taliban administration was profusely welcomed by most of the member countries while India maintained its silence. A Taliban leader has urged action and help from the international community to help displaced Afghans ahead of the approaching winter. Poverty could soar to 97% by the middle of next year in the war-torn country. The Taliban's Minister for Refugees said that people will be given assistance to return and help to rebuild their homes if they have been damaged. About two dozen female activists protested outside Afghanistan's women's ministry after it was closed by Taliban militants. The sign outside the Ministry of Women Affairs has been replaced by one for the Ministry for Promotion of Virtue and Prevention of Wives. At least five people were killed, including civilians, as second deadly bombing strikes Jalalabad in two days. The blast targeted a vehicle of the border police, which is now run by the Taliban. The Pak Afghan Cooperation Forum on behalf of the Pakistan government has dispatched 278 tons of edibles by way of humanitarian aid to Afghanistan through Torkham border. Chairman Pak Afghan Cooperation Forum expressed the hope that in the coming days they will also provide support in education, health and livelihood. Relatives of 10 civilians killed by a U.S. drone strike in the Afghan capital last month have rejected Washington's condolences and apologies. They called the attack a war crime and demanded justice under international law from the global community. A small group of women gathered in Kabul for a silent protest against the interim Taliban administration's decision permitting only boys and male teachers to resume their educational activities in Afghanistan. Women managed to register their disapproval of the Taliban decision before international media outlets.